Welcome to Wilderness Horizons, where we live a cook-build wild lifestyle. Today, we're making sauces gravy. For those of you that follow our Instagram, you'll know this was made for our breakfast from our New York salmon fishing trip we had over the weekend. For those of you that don't follow, please click the link in the description. We're using two different types of sausage, country and chorizo. I like to use the links as it's easier to find at your local grocery store. We're using a pint of cream, a pint of milk, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a half tablespoon of onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Next, we're going to use our chef's knife to uncase these sausage links. We're going to do this one by one, and then we'll place them in a hot skillet that I've had heating over a medium heat. It really makes no difference, but I like to alternate the sausage links, chorizo, country. In my head, it makes a uni more uniform mix, but you can always do this mixing outside of the skillet prior to placing in for cooking. Once you get all the sausage links into the sill, go ahead and start chunking them up. Make them into a nice big chunk grind like this. Then go ahead and let them cook through. Once cooked, we're going to start adding the other ingredients. We're going to start with the liquids. First the heavy cream, then the whole milk. I like to mix these up so that way we can get a nice homogeneous mixture. Once thoroughly mixed, we're going to start with the dry ingredients. I mix in about a quarter of the all-purpose flour, mix that together trying to prevent any lumps. Next we'll add the garlic powder. Then the onion powder. And finally, the salt. Go ahead and give these a good stir once included. Then back to the all-purpose flour to help the gravy thicken. We mix in about a quarter at a time, mixing thoroughly to help prevent any lumping. You'll start to notice as you continue to cook down the gravy that it starts to turn into a more white as you add more of the all-purpose flour. This is what we're going for. We're looking for a white with a slight red tint. We add all the flour. We're going to reduce the temperature to a low heat to help bring this to a simmer and help for the reduction. 
As we near the end of the cook, I like to come in with the immersion blender to break down these large chunks. I'll leave a few behind because having a nice big chunk of sausage is quite refreshing as you get through the gravy. off the immersion blender, give it one last mix, and let it simmer a little bit longer, then let it cool, and time for packing. Before removing it from the heat, I'm going to go ahead and test the consistency with the spoon, and use what's left as a taste test. Mmm, that's good. There's a couple different ways to use a sausage gravy, either simple over the biscuits, like we did on our trip, or as a nice breakfast over biscuits with a fried egg and some tater tots. One of my favorites, the sausage gravy biscuit burrito. Slice up a biscuit, cover it in gravy, add some tater tots. Word of warning, make sure to grab a bigger burrito. Thank you for watching another video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Check out my Instagram at the link below. Stay wild.